I wish mom and dad would hurry up. What is taking them so long? I just talked to mom. She said the school board meeting is going long and that you have to be patient. Oh, I don't want to miss the first pitch. How are you staying so calm? We go to a couple baseball games every year, Leo. But it is weird that mom and dad are going to these meetings all the time now. Dad keeps saying it's their civic duty. <laughs> what does that even mean? I know they're voting on stuff, but I don't really know. How about we keep you from exploding and go find out? Ugh! Good idea. I need to take my mind off missing the first inning. Okay, let's see what we get with civic responsibility. Whee! Whoa! What are we wearing? This place is cool! I like my outfit. It kind of looks familiar, but it sort of doesn't. The phone says we're in 431 BC. I've definitely seen that building before. Excuse me, sir. Our time machine just dropped us off. Where are we? Who goes there? Leo and Layla, sibling time travelers from the future. Who are you? My name is Pericles, officially a strategos, like a governor slash general. And I've been elected 15 times. But unofficially, I'm known as the first citizen of the greatest city in the ancient world, Athens. Right, Athens. We're in Greece. Just a really long time ago. Hold on. Technically, at this time, there is no united Greece. But here in Athens, we're the best city-state among a group of people called the Greeks. Greeks. What's a city-state? As I was saying, Thanks to the geography around here, a mountainous peninsula surrounded by islands, we're split up into lots of different independent groups that are kind of like a city and kind of like a state. City-states. Okay, so Athens in ancient times was an independent city-state. Exactly. And at least during my life, Athens is without a doubt better than all the other Greeks. Greeks, 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 Greeks. Um, Mr. Pericles, who is that guy? I don't mind him. That's just a Socrates. He's the smartest man around, but uh, he's a little weird. Some people think he's corrupting our youth, but he'll probably end up being more famous than even me. So what makes Athens the best? How much time do you have? I could go on for days. We have the best navy, best art, best sports. I could go on. Okay, what's so great about your navy? If it wasn't for our navy, we'd all be speaking Aramaic right now. The Athenian navy defeated the Persians at the decisive Battle of Salamis. It was Athens who kept the Persians from conquering and enslaving all the Greeks. 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 And what's so great about Athenian art? We have the best urns, we've got the best comedies, the best tragedies, the best architecture. Wait a sec. Didn't the Olympics start here? They did, they did. And we Athenians are good at wrestling, chariot racing, and the marathon, a race invented by the Greeks. We the Greeks. We the Greeks. But let me tell you kids, the reason we lead the way in all these things, plus education, math, science, philosophy, and music, is because of our government. It's unique and much different from our neighbors. Here in Athens, we have a democracy. Oh, a democracy. We have it in our country in the future. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? My blue-haired friend! We are surrounded by kings and queens and tyrants and dictators who rule over their people. No one rules over an Athenian. But what about you? Aren't you the leader of Athens? A ruler? I am, but don't be confused. I'm elected into my position each year. The people are my boss. If I don't do a good job, I won't get the votes from my fellow male Athenian citizens. Hey, what about votes from women citizens? Believe me, read our comedies and tragedies, and you'll learn women have a lot of influence over Athenian politics and society as a whole. But they cannot vote. Can women vote in your time? They sure can. Our mom votes. She's with our dad at a political event right now, even. That's so wonderful. My friend Aspasia helps me write my speeches and is my most trusted political advisor. I sure wish she could vote. So, Mr. Pericles, you don't think Athens would be so good at everything if it didn't have a democracy? I don't think I know. 
In Athens, we have freedoms unlike anywhere in the world. Having a democracy is allowing our people to thrive. Even Socrates, who is skeptical of democracy, benefits from it being our system of government. I like Socrates. Why is he unsure about democracy? Yeah! Looking around and talking to you, it seems like Athens is proving that having a democracy where people vote for leaders and laws is working great. Socrates believes democracy is only good if the people voting are knowledgeable and will vote with their heads and not just with emotions. So basically he thinks voters should be educated, knowledgeable, and get out of their feelings. Sounds pretty good to me. And it sounds good to me too. Democracy is unique in that it gives people unbelievable freedom, but at the same time requires responsibility. For democracy to be effective, we need voters who have taken the time and effort to know about the leaders and laws they vote on. It's why good schooling and truthful information is so important. It sounds like living where there's a king would be easier. In some ways it would be. Like, you wouldn't need to learn and know anything. But the king might make you work super hard at something that you don't want to do. Or force you to do something dangerous. Who knows? You wouldn't be free. Freedom takes work. Well done, young lady. You understand that freedom isn't free. Citizens in a democracy have a civic duty to be active participants. Oh, civic duty. Now it all makes sense. Our parents have always voted in national elections, but now they're getting more involved in state and local elections. They even go to some school board and city council meetings. Sounds like your parents would make great Athenians. Your family is welcome here. Do you guys have pro baseball? Hmm, baseball? Never heard of it. Layla, we gotta get going. Mr. Pericles, thanks for your time. I learned a lot today and will perform my civic duty by being educated and active once I'm old enough to vote. I'm going to perform my civic duty by eating two hot dogs at the game. Leo. Bye. Eating two. Hot dogs? Socrates, that kid was weirder than you. Kids who are watching from everywhere, spread the word to your friends, it's nice when you share. And to keep our videos free, for everyone, you can make a tax deductible donation. Download the free prayer you have today. What, what? Greeks.